You must stop, Shredder. Together, you are stronger than he can ever be. A turtle takeover at the movies this weekend. The Band of Heroes in Half Shell getting a reboot. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles once again saving the world. Plus, Twister Terror and a chef-inspired drama. It's all in this morning's Real News. It's just a mask. See? Don't freak out. Cowabunga! The heroes in the Half Shell are back as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles returns to the big screen. So they're aliens? No, that's stupid. They're turtles. Is there anything else we should know about them? They're ninjas. The sci-fi action movie pairing Transformers beauty Megan Fox with Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello. Together they must save the world from the evil Shredder once again. The turtles were created using motion capture technology, which allowed Fox to interact with real actors. They look ridiculous. And also, they're mo three of them were really big guys. They were all over like six foot three. And they're in these skin tight spandex gray suits with dots all over their faces. They had to wear platform shoes and they had to wear helmets with ping pong balls on their heads. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is rated PG 13. Did you hear that? A team of storm chasers gets more than they bargained for in the weather disaster thriller Into the Storm. Hey guys, it's splitting. There's another one. There's three. Four. There are three. Into the Storm is rated PG-13. In this restaurant, the cuisine is not an old, tired marriage. It is a passionate affair. Cooking up a combo of cuisine competition and lighthearted comedy, <laughs> Helen Mirren leads the 100-foot journey. Based on a best-selling book, an Indian family opens an eatery in France and is challenged by an elite restaurant owner across the street. If your food is anything like your music, I suggest you turn it down. I will turn the music down, but I will turn the heat up. The 100-foot journey is rated PG. I've seen some pretty astonishing things in the depths. Put on those snazzy glasses as box office billionaire James Cameron takes audiences on an underwater expedition in Deep Sea Challenge 3D. The 90-minute documentary is rated PG. I see you got yourself a new crew. Y'all come to see some real dancing? Throw on some dancing shoes for Step Up All In. The fifth film in the popular franchise brings back actors from the previous movies to compete in the ultimate dance competition. Step Up All In is rated PG-13. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles projected to make $50 million opening weekend. All right, Alexis, 925 is now the time, and a family says the home they're renting near Fort Myers is infested with snakes, and nothing the landlord does seems to work. The snakes aren't venomous, but you can imagine what a pain this is. They're aggressive, and it's a big hassle for the family. The leasing company has sent pest control out three times, and now they say the realtors have some strange advice. They're telling us that we just need to let the snakes run their course. It's just not acceptable. We can't do that. We can't live like that. Yeah, just them run their course. Oh my goodness, they're snakes. Fine. Yeah, they're still coming back. They're making it impossible to live there with a child. Social networking, it'll happen at some point. She'll, absolutely. That's what's missing, social media. That's She'll right. find them. Still ahead on Today in Florida. <laughs> A moving rendition of a Broadway hit, The Serenade on a Subway is our morning must-see. A South Florida chef shows us how to prepare a meal that's always in season. Details when we grab a bite with Belkies. And a lot of green on the big screen. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles making a comeback. A preview in this morning's Real News.